Hello and welcome back. The songs of six. Welcome back. Welcome back to our Atlantic City, where, of course, every single freaking goddamn fish is beautiful. And I'm not gonna say pretty because I've already used that joke. But we love the fish. That's that's the key. That's the key. And here we are as the Amevians. If you didn't know. These are the these are the boys. That's all we're gonna do. We're not gonna do any uh, slaves. Nobody. Just Amevians. Uh, Amevian slaves, of course. If if they uh, they act up, they act out of line, we'll put them in jail. That's for damn sure. Uh, and we also want to put some uh, some of this stuff in here too. So welcome back, welcome back. I know I've been playing a lot of Half Sword lately, and uh, I hope people don't think I'm going to abandon Six in any shape or form. I love that ga uh, this game, I should say, and that game at the same time. Uh, they are both great. I can play both and enjoy both all the time. So I plan to do that. Let's put some of these torches in here, so that's, that, that's good. Probably going to be the, the primary games I play for the channel, so just keep that in mind. If you're not interested in Half Sword, you might get a day of Half Sword, a day of six, or both at the same. I don't know. Just depends on how I'm feeling. Recently, though, I've been really enjoying Songs of Six. I even have two different playthroughs going on. Gardevania, the main huge multiracial city with 10,000 people. And then we have a Cretoni I have a Cretonian series. Or a city. Not even a series, really. Just a city I've been playing with. Because I'm trying to get all the achievements in this game. I have most of them. I think I have 24 out of 33. And I'd like to get all 33. Hopefully I can do that. But some of them are very hard to get. Also, it looks like... We're gonna need a, need a new janitor. Where is my janitor? Janitor! What's going on over here, brother? Looks like these roads are, are getting destroyed. I don't know what's happening over here, brother. Let's actually give them another another one over here somewhere, though. As I said, though, we're gonna start building throughout this area. I actually kind of want to put it, like, here. This should be good. Yep. We're gonna have to start building throughout this area beneath here as well. So let's get that going. And we want to use our brick roads. Probably because I have such thick roads that they are uh, struggling to actually deal with that. So what we'll do is we'll kind of shorten it a little bit. Stuff like this can be tucked back a little bit. Just because they don't really need this much road space. Just a little bit is good enough. But we don't want to remove uh, the uh, canals from here. But if you've been following along so far with the series, obviously I've been doing some editing to kind of get things going. Here and there I like to, to commentate and kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm doing. Like I'm saying, this seems to be a good idea right now because you don't have the technology for all of the degradation. We have this big plaza here. I'll keep this, but as this area is all kind of off to the side, uh, it should be fine to kind of get rid of some of this road. I think this road's fine. But like this area, we can shorten that. But I think with this episode, we have to get to work on a few different things. As in, I'm looking at it, we've got a good amount of food. We need a lot more leather. We can get more technology by putting more people into laboratories, which probably would be the first step here. Let's get another laboratory like this. Let's also make sure that any spare tools we have are going to here. Actually, this, this button here. So put that, go to this, and put that up. So everyone has a tool, or eight tools, I believe, at the laboratories. I should boost our knowledge up enough for us to get the actual boost we need. Let's put the road. Put a little road in here as well. And then 
This guy's gonna need a warehouse. Bada bing. Bada boom. Doesn't really matter how many storage spaces. We're not we're not really creating much. Just some wood or whatever will be good. We need to cut down some trees anyways. So good thing we have these nice canals for that. And let's just make sure this road here is slightly more organized. I was waiting for them to finish whatever they were doing in here so that I could just come in and remove it. All right, we got a murder, but we cut the we cut the serial killer, of course. Let's see who it is. So these guys are just vandals. Murderer. This person. Execute them. We'll watch their death. Where are they? Do you have anything to say for yourself, bastard? Nobody even wants to watch you. Here he comes. These are your last moments on Earth, motherfucker. Kill him! Oh god. Jesus, they just took a big shit in my ear. And he is dead. That's what happens when you murder. They kill you. The only, only obvious choice. Alright, now we've got the lab upgrade here. We've also got a spare amount of knowledge, so we're actually going to get that into our fancy roads. And speaking of which, we'll also do a little bit of degradation and some spoilage as well. And then use our spare iron, upgrade these. Hopefully we can start to get a little bit more. We're going to need a few more guys in here. Looks like we're good on everything else. So we're going to take our option here for the cobblestones. We're going to convert all of this road over. Including this up here. Oh, awesome. So we've got all of it upgraded here. We've also got some guys cutting stone. All of our population is native so far. So we're doing pretty good on our production for, for babies overall. I'm actually going to get another building in here. I think it would be a good idea to have one over here. Alright, we just got the archery upgrade, so we're actually going to go and build a archery building. A boyer. Right on over here. Right, that should be good. Nice old boyer. A little bit of space here for them to have some spare storage. Get that going. Okay, awesome. We unlocked the admin. So now, with that, we're gonna have to get some, uh, vapor going. Which is gonna be pretty challenging. Let's get some bows in here. Nice, we got 14 boyers working. Diligently making bows. Amazing. And then let's get the, the tech for papermaker. Here. We may as well put the tech the building right here with him. This is gonna be pretty large. I'm gonna probably put something like that. So that we can actually get what we need out of this area. No way they're going to be making that much, but it fills up the storage area. That should be good. We'll have it like that. Amazing, amazing. And then logistics warehouse. Drop that right there. Sir, make some damn money from all that pottery we're making. Awesome. We got our paper maker working. 
I have about 14 guys there so we don't burn through all of our wood. So we are going to need a lot of wood constantly. We've also got the boyer right next door. And then have this guy. Eh, it should be fine. Just storage wise, they'll grab from here, anyways. We need these guys to grab any wood, though. I'm gonna start storing it here. And then these guys will grab from that spot. Alright, that'll be good enough. We got 12 clerks. And now that we've got that and we've got our babies making, we're going to go into the world map here. Go to our army and see, yep. These guys are good melee training. These guys got some bows though. I think it'd be worth taking these guys. We're going to march over here. Or better yet, do we want to go there? We need to go north to get some good stuff, so... Let's move up here. Yeah, we'll go through there. And let's also sell... a bunch of crap we don't need. To afford our stuff here. How much do these guys cost per day? Oh, 119 per day. Oh, God. Good lord. Better win, brothers. Alright. Let's hope that we can win here. Let's engage with our 90 brothers. Have them actually back up a little bit and we'll have them double file actually yeah should be fine against these guys no problem we should hit them with enough archery to send them running oh uh, they're just out of our range too Lester. Making their way towards us, but we're we're pummeling them. Half of them are at least injured. Warm up. These guys don't matter to me, so we're just gonna charge. Headlong right into them. Matter of fact, we'll form the same size of the lines. Where you guys going? Come on. Come back here. You wanted to you wanted to fight. Charge, brothers. Yeah, that's why you always want to go for a blank. Draw the unit around it like this. And they'll start to expand themselves around it. Go. My brothers. Blank their positions. Perfect, that's perfect. We've got everything we ever could possibly want. Coming in now, we've got no money, but that is quite alright. We'll get that money back in a jiffy. Get that money back in a jiffy, I promise. 
I got that money back to you, I promise. Believe me. Scumbag Tony. Get that money back, I promise. I never lied a day in my life. You call me a liar. The Amebian Mafia is coming. Alright. You're coming. You. Let's just upgrade that. Oh, wait. No, we don't want to upgrade that. Let's drop that back. We lost money, but it's okay. Money is money's gonna come and go very, very quickly now. Let's actually get an export depot. This gentleman here. And we need to get our carpenter here. A few more workers. Nice, we're making a lot of fabric too. Ideally, you drop that down and put that up a little bit more. Give it a worker. Running low on charcoal here, too. Let's pop a few guys in there. Pull from here. Sell excess cotton. Anything above 50%. Profit for us. Awesome. So we've got this well area going down here. We're going to need some more wood, so that's what we're doing. Irrigation. Irrigation, brothers. Now that we have production in the world for fish, we should start to see a good amount of that coming in as well. Here we are. We're back. We are back. And we've got a lot to go over, a lot to go over. I had to capture a few regions here. We captured Woodard, Paradin, Oakenfill, and we've also killed our neighbor Novik because I needed his region, and I probably will go after these guys too. Let's see what, what size they are. Not too big, not too strong. We might be able to take him out, uh, but they've got some good property. This guy, though, I let go. I had to let him go because... He just wasn't happy with life. And just the same as this guy, you have to get this public stock or something along that lines to kind of work it. It's kind of weird. I don't know what it is. I think, like you see, we've got point, point 0.1. So I think it's because we're others and religious differences and they just don't like us. So we have to figure out a way to make them happy by doing stuff like that. And that basically reduces the overall population but keeps them happy, keeps their loyalty up. Which is fine, but these guys are providing us with a ton, a metric shit ton of resources. You can see we've got all of our favorite foods, plus some spare other foods. We've got tons of livestock, we've got tons of obiates coming in, cotton, and we've got a weaver, a weaver here going. He's got his little warehouse next door, we've got the Amebia Hatchery, the new one. So we have about 60 or so babies, 60 something babies. And then we have our paper maker, warehouse, little boyer, warehouse. Janitor, all these things kind of tucked into one building because that's just the flow I've been going for. And we have our admin building over here for 12 admin, as well as the hunter, potter, all these other guys. We could probably remove this now that we've got the actual uh, world thing going as well. And we can uh, go in and take the tech back because we don't need it. It is all going to be coming in from that region. We just went and expanded a bunch of different things. We put more wells in here, or uh, pumps. We put new uh, speakers over here. We're gonna have to put some hearths in as well. All kinds of good stuff have happened has happened in the city. It's gonna be a shorter one of those episodes, but mostly just uh, enjoy the footage, you know, because we're gonna be going through all these amphibians, constantly growing, being babies. Where, where are the babies? That's my question. That's gotta be, there's one. Rackney. Because we've got a lot of babies. Over 60. So that's a quarter of our, or at least a quarter of our population. Almost a quarter. 
Uh, and that's great. That's great. As Amebians, we want to have that because these guys don't reproduce as often. And you can see we still have space. We have capacity for 60. Uh, we only have 38 inside. And there's 84 reproductive capability. So we still need more and more Amebians, but we're getting there. We're getting there. And as we've got 4,000 fish stored away, plus the 1,000 fruit and 1,000 eggs, these guys will have eggs and fruit and fish for days, every day, forever. And it'll make them extremely, extremely happy. And we also got a little bit of a military going on. We got the boyers going. You can see we got 280 bows. Awesome. And I'd also like to give them some armor as well. We'll give them two armor. We've got 20 bowmen training up to 20% archery training. Not very good, but we'll have them out, out coincide with these two groups. Need to get training. Need to get our guys trained up so that they're actually worth something when we get to battles in the world map. But once we capture those regions with the mercs, we are happy to go with all of the things that these people need, especially like fruit and fish and leather. Those are the main concerns I had at the start of the episode. Now that I've got them covered, all we need to do is just go up from there. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.